Hey, pre-notification gang. Oops. Thanks, Resub Hugo. Well, hello, Io. Thanks, the Resub Sarah and the Bits Dowland and the Resub. There we go. Haley and Mong and Kate and Sea Sponge. And the bits arrow. That's an interesting arrow. Hopefully I'll get to him tonight. Because I, I will be playing more Wulong in a bit. Thanks to Resub Zarav, Lover, Shine, Devon. 500 Cal and Tier 1 Coitus in the Prime. Inedible. Blame in the resub Stigley and Bits Dowland. Mm. The resub vibes. And the resub Crisp and Coyote and the Gift Sub Milk. What did you think of Under the Tree by Sim? It was good. I didn't like it as much as the rumbling, though. The rumbling was just much better. Thanks to Resub TJ and Tier 1 Philo. And Resub Merciful. And the Bits Messiah and the Resub Kevin and Gasta and Snowboo. Quick text message, one second. There we some good boy and creature in the bits of Dowland. In the bits nine. That's shocking, you might have just got lucky then, Arrow. Thanks to the resub, Farley. Good luck, Farley. Probably bricks, I would imagine, yeah. There's a tier one angel in the resub, Annie and Bits Goth Gray. And the two gift subs, Cheese. The give sub just man. Did you see Honey Boo Boo was in a police chase? Really? Like recently? Where can I find that? I don't see anything on that. Thanks to the resub delicious in curtain in the prime swift man. Probably not pickle. Did you see Taco Bell Decentraland Metaverse wedding? <laughs> no, I gotta see that.
Shiel and Amruta Taco Bell Metaverse Wedding. Wow. That's amazing. I, I can't I can't wait to take a peek at this. This sounds like a very healthy relationship. You're probably asking yourself, why a wedding in the metaverse? I wasn't asking that at all. <laughs> what do you say, Taco Bell? Will you marry us? I will cherish and adore you for all eternity. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my days with you in this Taco Bell metaverse and beyond. I promise that our life will be fun and Isn't romantic so and more than a little weird, out. just like today. I love you. In this world and in any other metaphysical realm that may come. What, like, what do you mean metaphysical? Like, you are literally in the equivalent of Roblox. Not even VR or anything. You, you're literally just playing a normal game. You could do the same fucking thing in RuneScape, Second Life. This whole metaverse garbage, it's actual just brainwashing. Sheil, do you take Amruta to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do! And do you, Amruta, take Sheil to be your lawfully wedded husband? I do! By the authority vested in me, in accordance with the laws yeah. of this jurisdiction, I now pronounce you husband and wife. I now kiss the bride. Man, the metaverse the looks hype. Today, our first ever's for the metaverse. But what's cool about it is we're able to make it our own. So we're bringing a lot of Indian traditions into it. So there's a Bharat where virtual me is going to ride a virtual elephant into the wedding. This is one of the many customizable <laughs> moments that make you this can do all of this and more in other in games Amrita. easily. The lovely bride has arrived. This is so interesting. Paid actors. Oh, yeah, I mean, this isn't real. This is a marketing thing, clearly. But it just doesn't make any sense because it just makes the metaverse look even worse than I remembered. Taco Bell fans were already doing it. We just took it to the next level. Man, that's, that's so cool. The future is truly here. Thanks, you sub Ostag, Scott, Broody, Toaster, Chris, and Cheshire. And the Bits, Rat, Rat, Dowland, and Big Rig. Oh, and the 5k Bits Unknown. Thank you for that. Appreciate the fat Bits. And the Bits, Augusto, and Resub Ryan. Honey Boo Boo police chase happened three days ago. Her boyfriend was drunk driving and she was in the car. No video has been released yet. I am very excited to see that one. What a throwback. Fucking Honey Boo Boo. Wow. Thanks, Arisa, Brian, and Deep. EQ, huh? And check it out. Thanks to the resub wiggle. Jason made a response to your response. What are your thoughts on that? I'm not even going to watch it. I do not give a fuck. The only reason I did the first one is because the uh, boxing thing, something I talk about on stream, and it was just a really good video to use to talk about that again. But yeah, it's very clearly just uh, attention plays. He's very open about that. So no, I'm not even going to watch it. Thanks to the Resub Tia and Prime Chroman. Yeah, of course I did, Fate. It wasn't very hard. Thanks to Resub Cats. So far, Wulong has been the easiest Souls-like game I've played. I think I'm four bosses deep ish.
Is it good though? Yeah, I'm liking it. I really am. Arcane Odyssey on Roblox is actually pretty good. Don't know what that is, but I'm going to play that Call of Duty Roblox game that actually looks really fucking amazing. It looks like just a better Call of Duty. I forgot what it's called. I think it's called Frontline. This one. Let me see. Yeah, this one. It looks really cool. The resub Rumi, Kai, Amory, Hoth, Gavin, in the Prime, short stuff, and give some stooge. And the bits Muhammad and resub Sheru. What do you think about Chris Rock's joke slash response to Will Smith? Oh, it was super weak. He was given an absolute layup and he fumbled it so hard. I didn't watch the whole special. I only saw clips, but it was rough, man. Like, you had such an easy one. But instead of, like, actually making jokes about it, he just whines about it. It was a shame. Like, he had the right energy, but he didn't capitalize off it. All he just kept saying is, they called you a bitch, then 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 they called you a bitch, you a bitch. and then he just keeps talking about how he got slapped, but he doesn't make any jokes about it. It was such a waste. The resub log mystic Lauren in Potata. Didn't watch the Demon Slayer movie, so I couldn't tell you. He's being matter of fact, at least in my eyes. Yeah, I mean, he didn't say anything wrong. He was right about everything he said about the whole slap shit. Then his wife openly cheating on him and talking about it and then interviewing him. But it's a comedy show. Why are you going to go up there and just whine? Make jokes about it instead of just like spit matter of facts. Comedy has become more lectures than anything now. At least from like a lot of comedic or comedians. It's really boring. Like yeah, he, I mean, he, he's right. His, his lecture was correct, but I wasn't laughing. Make jokes about it. He's a tier one kid confidant in the resub peen. What the fuck is that, Sulkin? I've never heard of that before, and I'll look that up. What? Holy shit. YouTuber who crashed his Camaro into a packed taxi is being charged with homicide. You said he's still uploading videos right now? Six people died in this. This is terrible. You said he uploaded an apology. And it's still uploading as of a day ago. So he was drunk driving and killed six people.
I'm assuming these are the apology videos. Después de lo que sucedió, tuve que tomar decisiones. Y una de ellas fue la... I thought that was going to put it in English. Okay, I guess there's not English subtitles on it. Let me see if I can find something. Thanks for the five gift subs, Venom. Good to see you. Hope you had a good day. Thanks for the resub, Mahail, Unknown, Low Key, Dilly, Hokage, and Tier 1 Butterball. The bits to Doya and Sulkin. Well, hold on. I mean, I'm just going to see if I can find like a transcript. Oh, here we go. See, that was easy. He apologized to the families of those who died. Uh, he explained, among other things, that he chose to distance himself from the network out of respect for the families and victims involved. Furthermore, he stated that he had distanced himself from the network because he did not want it to become a media circus, and so that would not interfere with the legal process he's doing for the accident. I had to make decisions after what happened, and one of them was to get away from social networks. I did it for the honor of the victims, for the honor of the families, because I didn't want such a terrible event tragedy and media let it become a circus. Also, I didn't want it to interfere with the legal process I'm doing because they have to understand that I am in a complicated legal process. Wow, that's a that's a crazy uh, apology video. Let's resub pink and the prime Darth, weed and fizzy. <clears throat> Next, the two gift subs, Brad and the prime, text. Well, I mean, apparently it was drunk driving, so that's just unforgivable. There's, there's no apology he could ever make. Drunk driving, killing six people. I can't believe he's not in jail. He allegedly crashed head-on into the taxi while driving over the speed limit toward oncoming traffic. He was in the wrong lane. So this was in September. Is there is it is this still an ongoing thing? I would hope. And he made it out alive. That's how it always happens in drunk driving cases. I swear to God, 95% of drunk driving fatalities the driver, the drunk driver, is the only survivor. Almost every fucking time. I don't fully understand it. I remember one of the things I read was like, when the person's drunk, their body doesn't tense up, so they just like ragdoll around more, so the injuries are lessened. And then another thing I read contradicted that. But all in all, I don't know why it's so prevalent that the drunk driver is the one to survive. It's, it's so, it's so fucking crazy. It's so frustrating. Ninety-five percent. It's an exaggeration. It's just a large number. In the vast majority of drunk driving fatalities, the drunk driver survives. 
It's such a big thing that they have studied it and try and find out why it's the drunk driver that survives. Obviously, there's not an actual statistic to calculate exactly the number of drunk driving accidents with a surviving driver being the drunk one. I'll look it up, but I don't think there's going to be any. What percentage of drunk drivers survive a crash? Let's see. After crunching numbers, a study conducted in 2022 said that drivers had a 65% higher chance of survival than the... Uh, oh, no, it just cut off. 65% uh, higher chance of survival than the drivers and passengers who they hit. And then another study found a, st a statistically significant difference in the fatality rate for drunk drivers versus the victims who suffered. Is the resub cutie guard Ahmed Gian Rigo Tango? Oh, hey Tango, Zyphor Old Man Gracie in the gift sub Cheshire, and the Prime Liquid in the resub Marcy and Paxel, and the Bit Stang, and the Donis and Tadoya. <clears throat> Probably because they're the ones hitting the people head on. The tense part, I can't imagine that's too relevant considering the people they hit have no idea and therefore don't brace. Well, I mean, I, I don't know what to tell you. I, I couldn't explain it. I have no idea. Even in this article going further down, one of the things they say may attribute to that number being so high is because of their being limp. Here, and here's another one. There's a theory that drunk drivers don't necessarily get less injured than the sober drivers, but they're less likely to die. The theory revolves around the idea that the body's response to the injury, rather than the severity of the injury, determines whether an injury ends up being fatal, and alcohol helps numb the body's physical reaction to the trauma. Research at County Harbor UCLA supports this theory. They recorded fatality rates between 2004 and 2008 and found that 1% of drunk patients died of their injuries, while 7% of sober patients died from theirs. The national data covering 14,000 patients reviewed by Sinai Medical Center in Los Angeles showed that 7.7% .7 of drunk patients with significant head injuries died, compared to the 9.7% of sober patients with the same injuries. Yep. Pretty fucking wild. Hey, Jojo, good to see you. Thanks for the resub, and thanks to the Prime Can, and the resub Sodden. And the bits, Grustifer. How many did they study? That said 14,000. Here's another fun one, though. About 30% of all traffic crash fatalities in the U.S. involve drunk drivers. Not applicable to this situation, but no, this is just a ton of drunk driving statistics. This is the Prime Bruce I see in the Resub Strange. Bits to Doya, Johnny, and the Resub Trolls. Raising the drinking age didn't solve anything. I, I, I don't know where that's coming from. Yeah, I mean, that would never solve drunk drivers. It's just stupid fucking people. In, in 2023, there is absolutely no excuse for it. There are so many means of getting home.
There's a resub, Debbie. And the bitch bub. And the resub lotus. There's the bitch gibbs. Yeah, I didn't really do too much today. What an awful situation. I'm hoping that his uh, continued posting on YouTube isn't indicative of him being off the hook for the six deaths that he caused from drunk driving. I'm optimistic that it's still ongoing and he's trying to just squeak as much out of the channel as he can before he goes to prison. The bits taxed in Todoya. It will be at the end of the month taxed. Well, not a restock. Uh, the 2.0. I've seen that one, Gibbs. Thanks to the resub Nugget and the 5 gift subs Venom. The resub CD. We're playing Wulong in a bit. To be fair, his community absolutely despises the guy. I mean, it's hard to forgive a drunk driver who kills six people, one of them being a ten-year-old girl. Yeah, I, I imagine he lost his uh, his community pretty hard with that one. But he's not in prison, clearly. What a wild situation. Jesus fucking Christ. That just made me real mad. Hopefully it's just an ongoing case. Here's the resub Brish. And the resub Lance. What if he wasn't drunk? Well, of the two articles I read reporting on it, it was apparently intoxicated driving. But let's... I, I guess let's say it wasn't drunk driving. Why the fuck was he going the wrong way down a road and then a head-on collision with a taxi? I don't know how you make the mistake of going the wrong way on a road. Unless it was a real confusing road. Yeah, it was a head-on collision with a taxi. He was going down the wrong fucking side of the road. I just don't see that being a common mistake sober people make. The only time that's almost happened to me is I didn't see the one-way sign in, like, downtown Tampa once. But then I noticed, oh, <laughs> the cars are coming at me. That's probably not the right way to go. So I didn't turn there. It just, it seems like such a hard mistake to make if you're sober. Harder when there's no cars coming at you? Yeah, I guess if there was no cars coming at me, it would have taken me a second longer, but even still, like... It's a very difficult and a very specific set of circumstances that would lead to a sober driver somehow going the wrong way and then colliding head-on with a car. Is the resub A Weon and Lion and Lance? You see Aaron Yeager is coming to Fortnite? Yeah, I did see that.
Bienvenido. Wild. Absolutely wild. But yeah, we were already talking about the Chris Brown stuff a minute ago. I didn't see the whole thing. But everything I saw just was kind of lame. I was hoping it'd be, like, good material, but it was literally just saying, like, he slapped me, and people called him a bitch. He just had an easy slam dunk, and he, he didn't take it. Yeah, I've got the Dragon Ball Z game up right here. There's the recent Mac error in coffee and slips. Oh, did I say Chris Brown? Oh, sorry. I had Chris Brown on the mind because I rewatched that clip of him throwing that girl's cell phone earlier today. That clip actually goes so hard. When is the Oscars? I don't know. That shit's gonna be locked down like Fort Knox, though, after this whole Will Smith, Chris Rock thing. They're gonna have, like, armed muscle out the wazoo. <clears throat> it was a good special. That's good. I hope it was. Like I said, though, everything I saw wasn't great. It was literally just another lecture. A lot of stand-up comedy has just become lecturing. He just had so much to work with off that slap, but instead just chose to be like, he slapped me because he knew he could beat me up, and then everyone called him a bitch, and then he just, like, names the people that called him a bitch for a while. He's a tier one pro... Pro bro. And the bits to do ya. Do you watch comedians very often? Not so much anymore. I'm not a huge stand up comedy fan. I think there's some flex. I watched a lot during the Norm Macdonald era, and a lot of Mitch Hedberg back in the day. And then like classic Chappelle. Thanks the prime acid. Thanks to the prime signal. You had a favorite? What, stand up comic? Yeah, Norm MacDonald. I think Norm MacDonald was the master of stand up comedy. <laughs> Man was the goat. Thanks to Resub Bin Laws and the Resub Sunny. And the resub hammy. And these are the resub balls. Have you seen the eighteen hundred dollar phone? I have not. Thanks for five gifts again, Venom. The resub green.
Yeah, already, we already went over the uh, the cop lawsuit. I think it was two days ago when that came out. Things you said, wizard and gnarly. And the resub chand oh I have no doubt there's still good comedians that's not at all what I'm saying I just I don't keep up too much anymore and I think maybe I'm locked in like a uh, a chamber where I only hear about the worst comedians I know Roseanne came back to stand up comedy and I watched a little bit of that because I was curious how that would go. And it was just another fucking lecture. I Comedy has been conflated with like TED Talks now. At least a lot of it that I've seen recently where people just go up there and they will literally just say things to make the audience clap. Like, yeah, that's fucking right. You're right. But it's not, it doesn't, like it doesn't make me laugh at all. Like everything Chris Rock said about Will Smith here and his wife cheating on him is 100% right. Totally accurate. I completely agree. Pumping my fist. You're right, Chris. But you know what I'm not doing? Is laughing. Like, it's not making me laugh. You could do this. Like, you could still deliver the same message, but tell it with jokes instead of just, like, matter of fact. It's the point of comedy. Three sub jabs in the bits, Rotok. Oh, I haven't watched anything from Mark Normand in a while. I do remember that name, though. These are the bits to do ya. Is this the Netflix one? Yeah, I think it was a Netflix one. Oh, I'm sorry, Abigail. Well, thank you for that. Might not have popped up then. Do you know they let a serial killer give a TED talk? Nah, it's not surprising though. Hey, hope you like it, Celeste. Thanks, the resub Bogard. Didn't watch the anime awards, couldn't tell you. I know Edge Runners won though. <laughs> Gringo Pappy equals legendary. Uh, good old Brendan Schaub. The gold standard of stand up, yes. Dicey, dicey indeed. <laughs> Very cool. Thanks to the anonymous five gift subs. And then the five gift subs Venom. Thank you for that. Appreciate the back to back and the Prime Joe. And there you said Bruno. Does anyone actually like him? Brendan Schaub? I don't know. Probably not. I don't know how you do. <laughs> like he he is the Amy Schumer, like the male Amy Schumer. Even worse than James Corden when it comes to like stand up. Well, I guess with James Corden, it's not really stand-up. Even worse than James Corden when it comes to, like, general comedy. I've talked about Brendan Schaub so much. What's he up to these days? Kind of just same old, same old. Mm -hmm. 
Like the prime in shield, flamingo, boomer, and the resub pepper. And a bit slick. Didn't he bribe people with coupons to give good reviews to his comedy special? I don't know if it was coupons, but he did do something where if you left a good review of his comedy special, you got something in return, but he still ended up getting a 1.5 on IMDb, even with that bribery. So, didn't really work out. I'm pretty sure the people that watch him are, like, the same ones in his subreddit that literally just treat it all like a line kitchen. And they just make fun of him forever. Thanks for your sub doll stars. What do you mean, like a line kitchen? In the subreddit, I forgot what the subreddit is. It's for it's like the main one for his podcast, and I forgot the name of his fucking podcast. It's like Superboy Super Sports or fuck, what is it? Someone help me out. What is, it's a it's it's something with an oh fighter and the kid. I was way off. <laughs> I was not even close. Yeah, fighter and the kid though. Uh, his subreddit is basically just people treating it like they work at like a P.F. Chang's. So they're talking like, Hey, Big Pappy's got a new order of wings out the oven here. He's not going to like this one. Whenever they're talking about like Shab or whatever the fuck is going on with his new shit. It's, it's wild. Like they do like full RP in his subreddit. It's great. Thanks the bits Rotak. <clears throat> Brendan Schaub's former manager revealed he continuously pisses in the sink in front of his employees. Man, that's so that's such an awesome place to work, I bet. They're so lucky. Don't know if that's true or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Thanks the reset Ringo. And another five Venom. Thank you, Venom. Is it tier one ice? What's a plan for tonight? Just going over some wacky shit, then doing more Wulong. You ever listen to Joey Diaz? I actually only really listen to Joey Diaz on, like, uh, Rogan's podcast. I, I don't think I've ever listened to any of his, like, solo work. I really like Joey Diaz in podcast format, though. It's the resub. Shilda? Like the prime Latinx and the resub possum. <clears throat> Howie Mandel roasted Shab on his mangina he had on Impulsive. I don't even know what that sentence means, but I will say something. Howie Mandel goes so hard on TikTok for some reason. I still remember when he went off the rails. He posted that picture of some guy's completely prolapsed ass and asked if it was a symptom of COVID. 
<laughs> out of fucking nowhere. Like, the rest of his TikTok was, like, really normal shit. Like, America's Got Talent. Can't wait to judge. And then fully flopped out anus. It was crazy. Like, that, was, that was, like, an actual good one from Howie. You see the guy who beat Hollow Knight with only chopsticks. No, someone just mentioned that a minute ago. I'll probably watch that at some point. Like the bit Shinkai. <clears throat> no, no Destiny 2 tonight. Doing more Wulong. <clears throat> I haven't seen the trailer yet. I just saw it got announced and I saw some people celebrating on Twitter. So I'll check it out. The new Tenkaichi. It's been 17 years since Tenkaichi 3, I think. Somewhere in that ballpark. So a lot of people got caught off guard today. And I saw them going wild on Twitter. This is a bit tiptoe. Hey, congrats, tiptoe. That's cool. Hypest shit of my fucking life. Do the games hold up well? Are they still fun? They were never like competitive fighting games or anything, but I liked them when I was a kid. I just don't know how well they hold up. They hold up fine. Okay, I'll take your word for it. They didn't show too much. That's alright though. That was mainly just the announcement, I guess. Which is hype. The very first videos I ever made. I never posted them anywhere. I grabbed my parents' super old camcorder and I filmed myself unlocking a Budokai character. And then I did it again for a different Budokai character. But there was no like big video hosting sites for me to post it on, so they just stayed on that camcorder. It was pretty cool. I guess everyone forgot about Ultimate Tenkaichi. Well, I certainly did. Thanks for your sub zombie, cheeky breaky, and tier one girlfriend. And the Bits fan. And Agent. No, I haven't seen that. And the resub robo. Hidden lore. That's not hidden lore. I've talked about that before. Long time ago. Long, long time ago. Nice tiptoe, that's cool. Oh, Ultimate Tenkaichi was the rock, paper, scissors one? Oh. Yeah, that game was shit. Thanks for resub in ACL. Budokai, Tin Budokai Tenkaichi 3 was the best one, no argument. I don't, I don't know if it was the best one or not, but it was very cool. And that was the one that had Baby, right? It had a lot of the GT characters. I think it had Omega Shinron, Baby. Uh, who were some of the other big ones? Super 17. It, it had a crazy roster. Thanks, the resub box, Yeti.
we play it when it releases? Tenkaichi 4? Yeah, of course I will. Raging Blast 2 is an underrated gym. I don't know if I played the second one. I played the first one, though. It wasn't very good. That and, um, what was it, like Spark? I think it was Spark or something. Sparkling Flash. Something. This game gonna be hot dog shit since every console has SSD now, so no loading mini game. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot. It, wait, loading mini games are patented now, right? So they couldn't do that even if they wanted to. Thanks, you resub chillin'. Thanks the resub nose. And the resub Joe Biden. And Ja. Who patented them? I don't remember. Thanks the resub flash. And the prime pronzi. Oh, Namco Bandai has it. Mm. Doesn't Bandai make the Dragon Ball games? Yeah, well, they publish them. I don't think they're the developers of them. Are they? Let me see. Maybe it's at the end. No, man, it looks like they are the developer. Er, yeah, no, Bird Studio, Toei, Bandai. Have I ever played the PS2 game Urban Chaos Riot Response? No. Can't say I have. I'm hyped for this, honestly. You and every other Dragon Ball Z fan. People were losing their fucking mind on the timeline. I mean, just look at the thumbnails. People losing their mind in the thumbnails. Where did they announce this? Like a Dragon Ball conference? Comic Con? Where was it? He's a five good subs, Venom. It was the Dragon Ball Fighter Z Finals. Oh, really? That's cool. Thanks, Arisa Pappy. It's so cool how they support that game. Like the eSport, that is. Wish more fighting games would do that. Namely, Nintendo. Really, I'm just talking about Nintendo. He's a tier one. Tarzan. Oh, true, true, true. I saw that. Counter-Strike 2, baby. CSGO 2. Uh, it's not called Counter-Strike Online 2, is it? I guess it is. 
Yeah, apparently this is real. A lot of reports came out that they are potentially beta testing this as early as this month. New Counter-Strike. Yep, Source 2. I don't know if I believe it, but it's been reported by a ton of major outlets. Look at the initial release date. Well, no, this is just a completely different game. Whatever this initial release is, it's, it's not this one. Actually, I think this would have to be CSGO if it's 2013. Richard Lewis confirmed it with his sources. Is that right? I do believe he has strong sources, so if anyone's going to have a good connection to the truth, it would probably be him for this. That would be so fucking hype, though. Oh my god, that'd be big. That'd be so big. NVIDIA leaked it, and they have been 100% correct so far. Oh, that's so big. That is so big. Thanks to Resub, Darth Thad, Bod, Autumn, Gav, Spaceborn, and the Prime Car. I'm pretty sure it's just CSGO, but Source 2, not a new CS game. That's super possible. That could be very possible. <clears throat> Is there resub Wi-Fi? And another five Venom. Jesus, man. Thank you. When's the next Valorant game? Uh, the 10th. Five days. Is it resub search? Will we see any moist esports rep in the Street Fighter 6 Pro Tour? Yeah, I definitely do want to get uh, like a top 10 player. But I don't know who's available. I'm hoping maybe within the next month or so, IDOM's like, hey, I'm, I'm out of X set, need an org, and reach out to IDOM. What's that, Chronic? Next a bit AC. They could release every old game in Source 2. Probably won't. I don't know enough about Source 2, so I don't even know what the big changes are with the engine. I have to imagine they're huge, though. Oh, I forgot that's the name of his podcast. I, I mean, I, I do like it. From everything I've seen from it, I'd certainly be interested. And I didn't see the Demon Slayer movie, so I couldn't tell you. They added exo boosters in advanced. They added exo boosters like in advanced warfare. 
In what? Movie lol, they basically played three episodes back to back and called it a movie. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Which is a pretty dumb idea. And they put the new episode of uh, season three at the end. <laughs> He's the resub gear bear. Oh, does the movie 65 come out this week? Yeah, I'll, I'll go see it for sure. Let me see resub, peepo. Can't say I heard of that one, Ark. And thanks for another five, Venom. Thanks for the resub donut. It's going to be very disappointing if it's only a port and they keep exactly all the weapons the same because of skins. That's a good point. I wonder how they're going to handle skins because skin economy in the game is like an entirely different and super important beast to Counter Strike. Surely there'd be a way to translate those skins over while still having a Counter-Strike 2. Like the Tier 1 Dokioni and Tier 1 Dinny. Not a chance. No, they wouldn't... I... I am con I will go on record right now. If it is a Counter Strike 2, there is a 0% chance they just let people's inventories be moot. 0% chance. There are some people with millions of dollars in their fucking inventory. So they would absolutely have a way to translate it over. They would they it'd be suicide not to. Everything is being transferred. Like that's confirmed. Because, I mean, it, they, they'd have to. They would. It was in the leaks. Okay. Then, yeah, I'll, the leaks so far have been super accurate from NVIDIA and all that, so I'll, I'll trust it. They'd have to. So, there, there's no way those skins are just going to be kaput. There's the resub pyrite, zinister, and the gift sub blasted. And the resub rainbow and bits flat. The resub irritating. Have you seen Dr. Disrespect's take on NFT gaming? You're talking about his tweet where he said, Imagine you just got an item worth $100,000 and you have to extract best viewer experience ever. But then he failed to realize the immense and absolute unbearable misery of getting killed by a cheater when you have a $100,000 weapon you're trying to extract with. Because there's going to be cheaters. <laughs> there's going to be... Plenty of cheaters, especially if you can be making that kind of doubloons in the game. Is it resub slow? Well, I'll just report them. It's not going to get your $100,000 NFT blockchain item back. They'll have already sold it.
Things in the resub sprays. That's what we're just now talking about, Adonis. That's that is literally what I was <laughs> saying. Thanks to the gifts of Dayton. The whole deal with snail games trying to turn Ark Survival into an NFT game. I don't even know what that's about. It's news to me. Thanks to Resub Chicken. I wonder if I should sell my CSGO inventory now. I think you'd be a fool to do that now. Again, if all of this is accurate, which it does, it seems like there is a lot of very reputable sources making the same claims, you would be dumb to fucking sell right now. Because that's only going to skyrocket in price. Not if they don't port them. They have to. They're going to 100%. And apparently in the leaks, they already have talked. They already have a, a, a thing about porting it, I guess. I haven't read that in the leaks. But apparently that is already there. Thanks, Arisa Liam. Injury submit to a some have a crate that's worth two hundred dollars, which I find crazy because I played so casually. I mean, I guess maybe the OG crates are worth a lot now. I don't know. I haven't checked my shit in a long time on there. Thanks for some Gucci. I guess it could be like an Overwatch 2 situation with Counter-Strike 2 here. Where it's fundamentally the same game, but with like... Big tweaks to it. But it's not like a completely different game or anything. Thanks, Resub Slindius. Have I watched the latest Last of Us episode? Uh, I think so, right? It doesn't come out till Monday for the newest one. So yeah, I'm all caught up. Thanks to Resub Lawful. And Rui. Will there be a Counter-Strike 2 Lotto? Oh my god, there's gonna be so